Hello and welcome to Pendulum EDU and we are back yet again with another vocabulary session for you guys. So let's begin with today's session and we are going to discuss a few set of words and today I want you guys to observe the words that are repetitive. Repetitive in the sense a lot of words are there which I have been observing that they are there in most of the articles or you can say in one or the other article you see those words. So one such word is unprecedented which we did in the last article as well and I pointed out that this word it has been seen a lot many times now because this word is related to COVID. This was related to the political uh, things that are happening around. This word is also related to the environment. This word is also related to the economy. So unprecedented is an adjective which means anything that has not been experienced or seen before experienced or seen before okay that is unprecedented all right such things are unprecedented so it covered if you talk about this virus it is unprecedented there are things that are happening in on political front some of them are unprecedented environmental change is unprecedented economical change is unprecedented so this word has been used a lot many times and probably if it's there today i want you guys to identify and comment and let me know any word that you find repetitive which we've already done in the previous sessions as well let's begin with today's article and today's article hits as hitting where it hurts on USB one business visa curves. Hitting where it hurts. Matlab ke na sahi jaga pe nishana lagana. Right? That's that's the meaning of this phrase. As the US election nears, work visas have become policy targets for the White House. As you see that the elections are coming nearer, they are close, then the work visas that the US generally grants they have become the policy targets for the White House. So these are, these are the policy targets. People, the policies made. They are the central, the point that they have. They consider or they take into notice is of the work visas. The Trump administration has once again tightened the screws, tightened the screws on country's immigration system in a manner that is likely to directly impact Indian companies contracting with American firms for on-site work. Contracting, that is, it contracting, contract is a verb, okay, which means to make or have sign a deal or a contract or an agreement, okay. So, एक तरीके का जो गट बंधन है या जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन वो कर रहे हैं जिस तरीके का अग्रीमेंट हो रहा है ना आप इसमें इंडियन और अमेरिकन फिल्म्स का तो वो इंडियन कंपनीज के लिए थोड़ा पॉइंट ऑफ कंसर्न रहेगा क्योंकि जो वर्क वीजास हैं मिस्टर ट्रंप्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हैज टाइटन द स्कूल्स मतलब वो इतनी इजीली सबको वर्क वीजास प्रोवाइड नहीं कर रहे हैं या नहीं करेंगे लेट्स हैव अ लोग अभी पता चलेगा हमें कि वो क्या कर रहे हैं लाइक क्या मतलब है इसके पीछे का दिस वीक द स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट प्रपोज्ड टू स्टॉप इशूइंग टेम्प्ररी और बी वन बिजनेस वीजास रिलेटिंग टू ऑक्यूपेशन नॉर्मली क्लासिफाइड एज फॉलोइंग अंडर एच वन बी स्पेशलिटी और स्किल वीजा कैटेगरी वट हैज हैपन रिसेंटली Uh, the state department has proposed it has not stopped but it has just proposed to stop issuing the temporary or p1 business visas okay and this uh, this category it used to fall under it is normally classified as h1b specialty or skilled visa category so this visa category has been now proposed to be stopped to be banned so uh, if this happens there are many people from the, uh, from other countries who wish to move to uh, um, us and immediately india because uh, for on site work purpose india contracts with american companies and people from india go there stay for whatever time spend the project is uh, there for and then they come back 
So this uh, H-1B speciality of skilled worker or skilled visa category is proposed to be banned and stopped for the time being. Uh, it has been further stated the argument is that under the guise of business related entry, under the guise, under the impression or under the appearance, guise means impression or appearance, what is it? Under the guise means that it is a very Right? So under the guise of, it guise is now, of business related, मतलब दिखा दे है कि वो business related entry है of personal companies were sending their technology professionals for short term stays to work on US jobs potentially undercutting the wages and and employment prospects of US workers. So undercutting here it uses the verb. I'll explain you the meaning of undercut. Now listen, what what has US government uh, given the reason behind it, why it is proposing to stop or ban this visa. The reason it, it believes that under the guise or under the impression of business related entry that they're there for business, what is com what are companies doing? They're sending their technology professionals, they're sending their IT professionals go to go there, acquire the job so as to cut the costs. So that's to like they what they are doing is uh, for short term stays uh, to work on the US jobs, they're sending them, they're giving them these opportunities. And what what does this lead to? What is this making the impact on the US? The impact is that they're cutting the wages and employment prospects of the US workers itself. So the US people or the P Americans who can work on those jobs, they are unable to get the jobs and people from other countries are getting that job. The proposed policy action just ahead of the November 3 presidential election is significant for following closely on the heels of other similar moves to tighten restrictions on the entry of foreign nationals including raising the minimum salaries payable to those applying for H-1B visas and to stop the issuance of such visas entirely under December until December 31, 2020. And do you see this is going to be a serious hit? It is uh, Indians and Indian companies, uh, we all know that uh, we go like from our nation, people go out, they go on these visas, okay, and for these particular purposes or for short term stays in different nations and they acquire, they get that experience, they have those uh, jobs to do, okay. But they are also planning to restrict or to set a benchmark for the minimum salaries payable. So this is also now another inclusive point that the government is making and it has decided to ban these visas or issuance of such visas until December 2020. No issuance of visas till December 31, 2020. Nothing will be done, so decision is still pending. Taken together, it would be reasonable to expect a painful economic fallout. Fallout, economic fallout Fallout is a noun which means uh, a, a consequence, see a negative consequence, okay, kisi action ka jo negative parinam hai ya jo ek vivaad khada hoga usse, wo hum dekhenge economic fallout, like a crisis hoga, consequence, negative consequence, to crisis ke sakte ho so, the economic crisis is on legal skill migration from India. So, we will be uh, facing this problem this, this at this moment if uh, people we are unable to uh, like send our skilled people out there to have the experience and to earn as much as they wish, like uh, whatever the capability of the person is. But this decision will give a negative uh, out outcome for the Indian companies definitely. For example, the analysts predict that Mr. Trump's June 22, 2020 ban on a new H-1B visa issuance could impact up to 2,19,000 workers who would be unable to take up potential jobs in the US. See the impact, 2 lakh and 19,000 people without jobs. Again, so the, see I'm not saying that the unemployment would increase, that there, uh, there might be jobs uh, in other places and 
in our own country as well. But the potential uh, jobs that were there in the US that people probably are looking up to and they were seeking one such thing, that, uh, that op opportunity would be slashed. It would be gone. It would vanish. It has vanished. In, in fact, if uh, I talk about June 22 ban, it was this, these many workers or unable to have the potential jobs to look up to. So this is the prediction that the analysts have made. This is what they believe that this might happen. Following this, it has been further said that to date, there has been no retaliatory policy. No retaliatory policy. That is a pol uh, something in response. Something in response to a particular step. So retaliatory is an adjective used here for policy. Okay, so there has been no retaliatory policy. Is ऐसे एक कोई भी जो मुंह तोड़ policy होती है अब तक तो नहीं आई है from India. India से ऐसी कोई मुंह तोड़ जवाब नहीं आया है. At most perhaps diplomatic parleys. Parley is negotiation. It's a noun which means negotiation. क्या इतना बात चीत तो उन्होंने क्या किया है क्या लिखा क्या कह रहे हैं राइटर एट मोस्ट पर हैव डिप्लोमेटिक पॉलिस विथ साउथ ब्लॉक हैज सॉट टू एम्फेसाइज द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन बाय द ट्रेडिंग सर्विसेज रिमेन अ की पिलर ऑफ द बायोलैटरल स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप एंड हाईली स्किल इन एंड प्रोफेशनल्स वर्किंग इन द यूएस हेल्प ब्रिज द स्किल गैप देयर इंपार्टिंग अ टेक्नोलॉजिकल एंड कंपेटिटिव एज सो व्हाट इज इट दैट दैट द अपॉर्चुनिटीज देयर one the skill the people or the manpower is there in india so to bridge that gap to bridge that skill gap indian uh, indian professionals are needed there so they say that the diplomatic parleys and the negotiations who have made or have emphasized on these uh, on this uh, uh, like bridging the gap thing like or they have decided that this is a key pillar of the partnership the strategic partnership that they have at present in the backdrop of the steady clam down in the backdrop chaliye dekhiye backdrop okay uh, it's a noun which means behind the scenes behind the scenes kehte hain peeche jo kuch cheez jo backdrop mein chal rahi hai okay uh, of the steady clam down on visa issuances is mr trump's rhetoric on protecting us jobs from foreigners see rhetoric we did in the last article as well and uh, another word that is repetitive is rhetoric as i said in the initial part of the session when i started the session that you have to note the words that you see are repetitive so this is one word that i just saw is repetitive you can also comment and let me know the word that you see are repetitive okay so this is that in the backdrop of steady clamp down on visa issuance uh, i would just wipe up the screen and explain you the meaning all right so in the backdrop now see backdrop as i mentioned that it's a noun which means behind the scenes matlab piche kya chal raha hai samne nahi dikh raha jo cheez on steady clamp down steady clamp down clamp down is also a noun which means suppression the uh, the act of suppression like the trying uh, the act of trying to suppress people kisi cheez ko na ek shikanje shikanje me kasna to ye jo ek strategy apnai ja rahi hai on visa issuances सो मिस्टर ट्रम्प का जो रिटोरिक है वो उस इस वो उसका बैकड्रॉप है क्या बैकड्रॉप है आई वॉन्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग यू एस जॉब फ्राम फॉरनर्स ही वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट द यू एस जॉब फॉर द पीपल इन यू एस फ्राम फॉरनर्स हु अक्वायर दैट जॉब हु कम फ्राम अदर कंट्रीज स्पेशली इन केसेज वेन लोअर वेजेस ड्राइव सब्सिट्यूशन इफेक्ट्स ओके सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू सेव दीज जॉब फॉर द पीपल ऑफ द कंट्री इट्स 
instead of imparting, instead of leveraging them to the people who come from other countries. So this is his articulate, uh, articulated way of stating, this is his rhetoric. As I said, rhetoric is the way of rhetoric. It's an adjective. No, here it has been, it has been used as a noun. The way or the art of speaking. So the backdrop of the clamp down is his way of speech, okay, and that because he has put it across and that he wants to save the jobs for the U.S. people. So this might come as a positive throw or reflection. The pressure on the White House to increase the cadence of the drumbeat, cadence of the drumbeat for this form of protectionism has risen. Owing to the pandemic's job killing effects. Up the kid, Jesse Ki, if you see the impact the pandemic had, people have lost their jobs. Multiple, numerous people have lost their jobs. Lucky people who haven't. So that's a, that's a good part. So uh, they see that because of this form of protectionism that he has showcased, that he's trying to protect the US job. So protectionism is like Sanrakshanvad. Rakshanvad. This means that. To protect uh, one's own country from the other countries, uh, see the the main major motive is that you raise the tax on imports and you try to protect your country's domestic market. Okay, so if you're trying to protect your country's domestic market your own country then that is protectionism so it is the same thing that mr modi uh, mr sorry, mr trump is trying to do that he's trying to protect the jobs for the u.s people itself and instead of giving it to the foreigners so this sort of protection uh, protectionism has raised uh, or has sort of pressure on white house to increase the cadence of the drumbeat cadence is now drumbeat is also now the drumbeat means the pattern, the pattern for this form of uh, protectionism. Or, it is a way of the pattern, right? Uh, sorry, the pattern, which is a way of the And cadence is the rhythm. Rhythm. Cadence is rhythm, which is a way of the So, what they want, they want to increase this rhythm okay, of the drumbeat, which is a pattern of protectionism. Ka. Isko is rhythm ko they want to increase. They want it to go more, uh, like go far and far. U.S. joblessness spiked to an unprecedented 14.7 percent in April 2020. See, unprecedented again, right there. As I said, rhetoric is there. Unprecedented is there. These are the repetitive words that we have been doing so many times. So this is unprecedented spike of the joblessness, the unemployment rose to 14.7% in April 2020 because the pandemic hit. Moving ahead, it has been said, while it has dropped off since then, like it has gone down, go down is what uh, drop off means, the country has entered the final phases of electoral campaigning which has seen sharp attacks by Democratic challenger Joe Biden on Mr. Trump's alleged failure, alleged like said without proof or stated without proof. Like we say, kathit tor par. Matlab sirf shabdo mein keh diya gaya, uska koi saboot hamare paas nahi hai. They say that uh, it has been, uh, okay, I'll, I'll read it out again. While it has dropped off since then, the country has entered the final phases of electoral campaigning. People are... Uh, employment It has sharp attacks by Democratic challenger Joe Biden on Mr. Trump's alleged failure to mitigate the economic crisis. Mitigate is a verb used here. Mitigate is a verb which means to lessen or to reduce. So, Mr. Joe Biden, he has, uh, I would say, Biden, he has continuously uh, accused or challenge Mr. Trump for not being able to manage the economic crisis or not being able to lessen the economic crisis, okay? Mitigate in Hindi, we say, kam karna. 
किसी चीज का इम्पैक्ट को कम करना वेन कंसिडर्ड अलोंग साइड द फैक्ट दैट मिस्टर ट्रम्प इज स्टेडली लूजिंग ग्राउंड इन फेडरल एंड रीजनल ओपिनियन पोल्स लाइक इफ यू कंसिडर द फैक्ट दैट पीपल हैव सीन एंड ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस मैन इज कंटिन्यूसली लूजिंग हिज होल्ड वेन इट कम्स टू ईद रीजनल ओपिनियन पोल्स और द फेडरल वंस अमित पार्टीज आर द अदर पार्टीज ऑल्सो पीपल लाइक मॉक एट हिम it is hardly surprising that the areas of legal migration including skilled workers entering the us via the h1b program have become policy targets for the white house this is reason like it's hardly surprising that he would come up with something like this it would be wise for indian it firms and others seeking to send their employees to the us for short term work to assume that regardless of who wins the election it will be a long time if ever before they can hope to return to business as usual like they say who's ever been the election whether it's biden or trump it is going to be a long time when people could go to us have those visas yet again and work there so the people in indian it firms and others other countries also they have to take this into consideration that for some time they have to take hold on it uh things uh, may take time to res- resume or to re- to resume to normal like they were or to be usual as it was earlier because the policy target is the visa issuance which has been stopped or banned the issuance till December 31 2020 that's h1b visa all right so this was the i guess this is the away article ends yes the article ends right here and these were the words that i wish to discuss with you today as i said that there are repetitive words and you observe it with me okay so if you have observed you might have realized that Uh, so far there are words that are getting repeat, repeated so the list that we share with you it is important you need to seek attention you need to drive attention to it okay pay attention and practice those words come back for the next session for sure all right do not forget to like and share the video with your friends also subscribe the channel for regular sessions with us and i hope you guys are working on the crash course part as well for acc cgl tier 2 I shall see you soon guys thank you so much